Hey, uh, I'm looking forward to finding out a little bit more about you and about Living Medicine Institute. Tell me, what uh, drew you to specialize in psychedelic assisted therapies and research? Um, yes, it's an unusual thing for a psychiatrist to be doing, um, but there are a few of us um, that are sort of coming out of the mists or the woodwork as being mental health professionals who are also doing this kind of work. Mm -hmm. um, for a long time, there wasn't really um, an open forum for people who were interested in working with induced altered states and mental health. Um, but now it's really become evident to the medical community and to some degree, the public at large, that this kind of treatment actually works in mental health for some people that nothing else works for. So you have this, what's being called the psychedelic renaissance in medicine. And uh, there's a lot of debate over whether this is a good thing or bad thing. What does this mean? What does this even entail? You know, um, the research studies that have come out have been really promising and so it's growing in interest and there's a lot more people in my world, in the mental health treatment world, wanting to get trained in it. So um, I found myself at the forefront of this because I happen to have already been in it as a psychiatrist. And so it was a, there was a natural progression for me to move into teaching and training in this about 10 years ago um, because I was already doing psychedelic assisted psychotherapy work um, relatively early on um, as it slowly became more legal. And the first substance that became legal to be used was ketamine. And so I've been working along with my colleagues and in our clinic um, doing ketamine assisted psychotherapy for many years now and started a training program a few years ago with my um, colleague, Sandy Neweth.